Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So, um, uh, by the way, if I if I sound like I'm uh, kind of slurring during this video, it's because I went to the dentist, got a half like a half a deep cleaning, and just fucking tore up my mouth. So uh, I swear it's not because I'm drunk or anything like that. But uh, uh, but we must persevere. We must talk about toys. Okay, I'm here to get this information out to the people. So um, my health be damned. Uh, but let's just go ahead and dive right in. These picks right here of uh, uh, the Ninja Turtle uh, Pizza Monsters, okay? I guess they are showing up abroad. Um, uh, you know, I know that uh, that's kind of, that's like becoming the new thing now. It's like people are getting this off eBay since Mondo Gecko. It's like, you know, uh, uh, get them abroad and pay a markup before they land uh, in the States. I don't love that. I mean, they should... You know, uh, 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 I feel like everything should just kind of release at the same time. But maybe that's kind of pie in the sky thinking. Anyway, I don't want to get into a whole rabbit hole with that. Take a look at this packaging, okay? Another one bites the dust. You got Mikey's about to eat that delicious pizza, and this pizza monster is about to uh, uh, ruin his day. Uh, if we keep on going here, here's the window shot. So it looks like you can get everything that comes with them. You get the Pizza Monster Deluxe. You get the little bitty pizza monster, uh, and then you get a pizza, and uh, whatever that doohickey was, and then uh, uh, the UFO pizza. And then there's something in the back, too, that I can't make out. But uh, he looks like he's going to have some real size to him. Uh, now, remember, uh, this was initially sold on the NECA site, um, but uh, has since... Um, uh, they, 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 it was a two-week window, but I believe this is coming out at Target, too, so probably see these at Target, and um, I do like that it's just the Pizza Monsters, so if you do want to army build your Pizza Monsters, maybe you want 20 Pizza Monsters, you can go ahead and, and do that, and he looks great, and then, uh, I don't know, side shot, another one bites the dust, and in the back, you got some business right there, and check it out, Human Baxter Stockman, uh, who is definitely on deck at some point, um, who, who is he going to come with, I don't know, I hope it's not the kind of thing where it's like a two-pack, where it's human backs or stockmen, and then just a bunch of mousers, and then that's the only way you can get mousers. Mousers, NECA, if you're listening, you got to army build those. Maybe you come out with a two-pack foot soldier on one side, I don't know, four mousers on the other side or something, and then you could army build two things at once, okay? Just giving you some free advice, okay? Take it or leave it. But uh, yeah, uh, Pizza Monster... I mean, if that packaging, he should be on. Uh, he should be on deck soon. Uh, in other toy news, Masters of the Universe Revelation. So uh, they have this Savage He-Man and Orko seven-inch scale coming out soon. Um, this set is part of the Master of the Universe Master Verse lineup. Savage He-Man goes back to both the promotion from the '80s, where you would get an unarmored He-Man figure in the classic mini comics. In those comics, He-Man was a tribal barbarian warrior seeking to protect Eternia. Second part of the Master Universe Revelation begins November 3rd, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is obviously part of Revelations, which um, I have to say, uh, just by checking targets, I don't know how well they're selling because I see them constantly uh, in stock. There's tons of them. Um, my fear, I mean, it's 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 always the fear they're going to go on clearance and then you paid, you know, uh, you paid the, the premium price for it. But that's, I don't know, maybe that happens. I, I don't know how well this is selling. But yeah, this is Savage He-Man. You remember those mini comics? It was like him and like, I don't know, Green Goddess hanging out. And he was just kind of like this barbarian. I kind of like that simple version of He-Man. I wish that um, some form of media would would kind of make a series based off that. Like, obvi look, obviously I grew up with the Prince Adam and it's kind of like dual uh, identity, Clark Kent kind of thing. But uh, there's something I like about the kind of barbarian Skeletor is just like some fucked up warlock uh, dude. And like, um, yeah, uh, 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 so anyway, that's an aside. I'd, I'd sort of like to see somebody uh, expand on that in some kind of uh, uh, media. But this is, I guess, Savage He-Man. Right now, it's the only way to get the Orko from the series. Here's a shot of him. <laughs> this is like a shot of him, like kind of like in place of the Green Goddess, um, uh, if you if you read that comic. But uh, and here's, here's Savage He-Man saying goodbye to his whole tribe. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, this is going to be a two-pack. Is, is it Target exclusive? Uh, set schedule release at some point in 2022. That's all they say. So I don't think this is going to be that hard to find. Uh, again, Revelations, other than like that first burst 
um, you know, where it's just like everything is hard to find when it's first uh, initially out. It seems like it's 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 uh, pretty plentiful. Other than that scare glow that was a, a Maddie or Maddie uh, Mattel Creations exclusive. But um, yeah, look for this next year. Savage He Man and uh, Orko. They should obviously have just made Orko by himself, I think. But maybe there's not enough uh, to warrant. Although they can load him up with accessories, I guess. But uh, yeah. Uh, that is all for the Masters of the Universe front. What else is there? Um, there's been some uh, Gremlins news. Uh, I know they are releasing uh, these Mogwais. Um, I got a few right here, uh, but I know they're kind of hard to find. Um, uh, they're coming out with a bunch of these uh, different Mogwais. And um, I got to get, I forget his name, but the old, old googly eye uh, that's, uh, that's there. I got to get him. I also have to get the gremlin version of him at some point. Hopefully they release him. But these went up on the aftermarket, and then um, now they're they're re-releasing them, which is good uh, for, for people like me that missed the boat. So that's coming out. Also, they're doing a NECA Gremlins accessory pack. Comes with the sports car. So it's like a mini sports car that's like in scale with the gremlin. So, you know, he's not super big, and you can, you can have like a stripe chasing gizmo. So that's fun. I also did notice that they packed in um, uh, the um, well. They have they have the the egg, which looks really cool. So you might need multiple of those. And then they have like the gremlin mask, but they also have the um, the uh, '80s workout outfits. Now, if you remember way back, they did a Kickstarter to try to get like '80s workout uh, gremlin uh, kickstarted. They didn't make that Kickstarter. The other Kickstarter that went simultaneous to, simultaneously bleh, to that was Spirit of Splinter. And everybody knows how that turned out. That thing shot through the roof. $400 figure now. This one didn't even make it. So um, this is kind of your, your second chance if you want to get, like, do kind of like a workout Jane Fonda uh, gremlin here. Here's just another image um, uh, uh, of it in the box. And I do like that they have the small gizmo that's a lot more in scale. And uh, what else? Was there anything else? Oh, um, Metal Slug figures. Check this out. On uh, If you're a fan of the, the video game Metal Slug, um, you know, I feel like I played it on like a Neo Geo console. Does anybody remember Neo Geo? The, that, Neo Geo was like the rich kids uh, game system back in the day. Because it was like Neo Geo, the system was like, I think it was like 600 bucks. But then every game was $200, okay? So, you know, if you knew a kid that had Neo Geo, it's like, befriend that kid. I grew up in in, in, in Shitsville, okay? We, we didn't know anybody that had a fucking home console Neo Geo. Uh, the only way you play these games is in the arcade. But I digress on Neo Geo. Metal Slug. So from Metal Slug 3, uh, I just saw this on Toy Arc right here. Originally released for Neo Geo, Metal Slug 3 is part of a long-running series. It has been ported to almost every modern video game platform. Classic sites, scrolling, blah, blah, blah. New series of officially licensed 1 12th scale action figures coming from Tunchi, Tunchi Studio. Include our main characters Marco Rossi and Tarma Roving. Yeah, those guys. I don't know their names. It's just blonde guy and other guy. Uh, but yeah, and with two rebel soldiers... Figure stand up. This is, I want to play this game right now. I feel like playing Metal Slug right now. But uh, these are $144.99 each. So it's a hit. But uh, I might just get, what's his name? Is it is is that Marco Rossi? Blonde guy. Blonde guy that everybody knows. Um, uh, it is mixed media, but I don't mind it so much. It's okay with this, I think. Uh, but these look really cool. Metal Slug is a deep cut, man. Um, I, 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 I want them to make some more deep cut video game um uh video game uh action figures you know what i think I i'm gonna do a video on maybe video games like a top 10 maybe video games that should have action figures and some of them are like maybe deep cut ones because i also like when they did the contra remember NECA did the contra the two-pack and uh yeah there's some other ones that that that, that, that are really good um but yeah anyway um, they all look awesome, but for 150 or one, whatever, 145, I'll probably just go, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, uh main guy. And, um, uh, I think, no, the two more things. So I don't do a lot of horror here, but I did see this packaging photo for Halloween too. Ultimate Michael Myers and Dr. Loomis. I love me some Dr. Loomis, man. Okay. I looked in his eyes. 
It's pure darkness, you know? Dude, Dr. Loomis is a fucking, he's a boss, man. So this is Michael Myers. This is from Halloween 2. I just like the look of this two-pack. So I might break my horror rule because I do love this. Uh, I love Halloween 1 and 2. And uh, I also love Halloween 3. I got the little... Um, I still have them here. I didn't never open them. The three more days still Halloween. Uh, you know these guys, and um, so I might get, might get this two pack, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, also they did release. This is kind of cool. This uh, Swamp Thing by McFarland Toys. Um, I'm not super in on the DC thing. Uh, uh, you know I don't. I get some Batman figures. I got the Batman bike. Uh, ambulance right outside my door. Don't panic. Do you guys ever do that thing where you hear an ambulance in a video or in a song and you look around like, what the fuck? And then you realize it's the, the song. Anyway, don't don't panic. There's there's nobody outside your door. Uh, this Swamp Thing looks really cool. Uh, it just looks monstrous. Looks like the, uh, um, what, didn't they have like a series or something? Maybe that's what this is from. But anyway, I saw this. I, I, I want to see how big he is. Um, uh, also, just on the McFarlane side of things, uh, stupid Target canceled my Batman McFarlane flowing cape thing. And then it went up again five minutes later that I could reorder it. What the fuck is going on with Target and their stupid cancellations? Also, very, on a somewhat related note, very sneaky. Target cancels shit. They'll send you an email. Be real careful because they'll be like, information on your order. And they, they'll tell you like, hey, this thing got delayed. All right, but what they what's in the fine print is you have to approve of that delay because if you don't, you get a nice email a week later saying, "Hey, buddy, you never approved of the delay, so we got to cancel your shit." Um, that happened to me on um, I I, I pre-ordered a uh, for my wife, okay, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the flocked uh, Gizmo Funko with the 3D glasses. And they canceled it. So now my wife has to suffer, okay? She doesn't get that now. Uh, hopefully I can find it in stores. But um, be on the lookout uh, for that. Oh, you know what? There's a picture of uh, Todd McFarlane next to Swamp Thing. And he's pretty big. Uh, so I don't know. That's one that I'm looking at. I, I, I do like just how monstrous he is. And uh, uh, that's it. Uh, lots of talk back on the gargoyles and the wings and the this and the that. Um, look, I, I, yes, of course, everybody is grateful and we're happy that we're getting folded wings. All I'm saying is like, um, I think just have make it like an ultimates. That's it. Like uh, uh, Goliath with folded wings. I don't know. Charge a little more. Would five dollars more uh, 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 make those wings available to be? I, I, and again, I might be dumb as fuck with price points, but. If, if I'm going to pay 30 bucks for Goliath or however much he costs, I'll pay 35 for him too if he comes with folded wings. So I'm not, maybe I need some more clarification on the argument that folded wings can't go into the, 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 the figure that it belongs to. But again, it doesn't matter to me because I'm going to get Bronx. But I know there's a lot of people that might not want to get Bronx. That's all I'm saying is I'm, I, 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 uh, if there's a way to package the folded wings with the guy he belongs with, great. If not, okay, what do I know? I'm just a humble man, all right? I'm just a guy making making, making uh, toy reviews, okay, with, with an injured jaw. Um, but that's how much I love you guys. That's how much I, I, I have to get this information to the people, all right? I'm committed. So that's all I got. Uh, let me know what you guys think about any of this toy news. It's Friday, and that's it. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like, and uh, have a good weekend. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.